to the two running backs two of the real stars of the sport two players who went in fantasy drafts really high how do you see this one going down today yeah and how's your fantasy team yeah yeah, 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 yeah no, we won't talk about that let's talk about good things but you know these hey these two teams are stars you know why because we can see how the football team is built and I think it is no doubt about it the offensive line is a big part of it they always have hope that they block their guy a little bit these running backs can make a big play out of it. He's in the clear, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. So many things have to go well when you talk about returning the opening. Benjamin's going to start his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down at the 27. Outside now on the toss. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. A player on the outside with speed for the Browns is Josh Gordon. And boy, do the Browns need his speed on the outside and his ability to make plays. They have a hard time generating offense. Well, it would help if you find more ways to get the football to Josh Gordon. They'll run it off the toss. Johnson's tackle right at the 35. Here's a look at the defensive starters and a good look at the secondary, a group that could be the difference in this game today. It'll be third down. Here's the quick toss. It's wide open. Johnson's there to make the tackle. Third short, I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. Balls to the outside. The Browns use a timeout here. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. That leads us to second down. Here's the quick toss be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Johnson's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Looks like they're going to run a little wildcat here. Gordon's got it. Coming to the line at the 38. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He runs with it right up the gut. That's a gain of six. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Browns from the 32. Johnson's handed the football. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Johnson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Just 25 yards to pay dirt. First and 10. Screen finds his mark. Going to be a 
tackle for a loss. And now they'll try over again on second down. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice. Greeny brings the quarterback down. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Mounting a serious drive. The Browns still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Only 35 yards to the end zone. The Browns come out in a bunch set. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And it's complete to Josh Gordon. still on the field here on fourth down and they'll need to pick up four for the first from the shotgun Isaiah Crowell makes the catch the Browns decided to go for it on fourth down that time and uh, hey it didn't pay off and of course the coach look at him now he is second guessing his decision the Cardinals come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter the scores seven to seven First down at the 16. Johnson's tackled down. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. It's Gresham. Williams there to take him down. The Cardinals are tied up right now, and part of what's been working for them is the passing game. Palmer's looked in control of the offense to this point. Hard to believe this game is tied when you watch the offense and the quarterback. They are hot. They're throwing the football. They're making it work. And we'll see if they can get ahead with another drive. Brought down by Dansby. The defensive line's all shifting to the right. They're going to try to find a way to pressure the quarterback. Carson Palmer throws the long pass. And it's incomplete. Oh, the receiver is wide open. That doesn't happen too often in this league when they get behind the defense and the quarterback just throws it off target. Third down following the incompletion. Quarters formation here for the defense. Out of the gun. Has his target. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Cardinals put themselves in a terrible situation third and long but you know what they got a lot of talent on the offensive side and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down first down here after the completion to the ground Dansby's all over the ball carrier play number six coming up on this drive from the gun Homer's gonna take off with it got hit on release well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches the defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. The Cardinals come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Going for the deep ball. Tough catch. That's his first reception today. That was a nice gain on that play that time. Well designed by the offensive coordinator. Yeah, it was a good throw and catch, but that time I'm giving all the credit to the, to the design of the play. That's what made it happen. Let's go, let's go. First and goal from the seven. And the give now to Chris Johnson. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Yeah. 
And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second and goal from the 10. Gives it to him again. Power surge for six. Touchdown. And we're halfway through the second quarter. And with the touchdown trip, they are now in front in this ball game. And this game's flying along. We've seen some good play. In it. But that drive right there was not a good job by the defensive front. They were all over the place. It allowed the offense to execute some plays and take the lead. Gilbert's going to run this one out. White's there to make the tackle. That return's good for about 20. The Browns look to be almost certain to come away with points the last time they had the ball. But instead of attempting a field goal, they went for it on the fourth down and were unable to convert. Let's see what they do with this possession. Yeah, look, this isn't high school or college football where you get many, many possessions. In the pros, you don't get that many. When you get a chance to get points, you got to take advantage of it and take those points. Here's the quick toss. Buchanan's the one who made the big stop. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Manziel's running away from the pressure. Clutch catch. Peterson that time on the tackle. Now, looking at these receiving numbers to this point, here's a running back who can clearly come out of the backfield and make plays. Yeah, he can make the plays out of the backfield. We know that, Jim. But listen. When you're going to cover the receivers down the field, you're going to get the dump pass of the running back, and then you've got to come up and make the tackle against a guy who can break tackles and make you miss an open space. They come to the line at the 24. Playing press coverage to the outside. Johnson's the receiver on the screen. Touchdown! Heading toward halftime, and the complexion of this game certainly has changed as they've now tied it up with the touchdown. Yeah, you, it, and when you're tied up at halftime, you don't know how to look at it sometimes. Are we doing great, or are we not playing well enough to be winning? So each team, each coach has to go in there at halftime and give his team some new ideas. Johnson's got a chance for a return. Breaks out of the tackle. Johnson's marked down at the 41. The Cardinals on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. The Cardinals will come to the line. Second quarter, tie game. Scores 14 to 14. They'll go ground. Got a big lane. On his way. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive. He avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The Cardinals ready to kick it away. Gilbert's running this one out. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Browns getting set to take over again on offense. They'll be trying to pick it up right where they left off with their last drive that ended in a touchdown. Yeah, they're throwing the football well. And I'll tell you, I've been covering this game a long time. There's still nothing pretty than seeing a quarterback drop back and throw a perfect spiral down the field and watching guys catch it. It's That was a work of art, the last drive. First down at the 21. 
running room. And he steps out of the field of play. Good job that time by the ball carrier. Pick it up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stop the clock. First down, offense ready for the snap. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Here's the quick toss. Breaks free. A foot race to the end zone. The 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. The Cardinals take it from the 23. Johnson takes it on the toss. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Quickly to the line. Now first and ten. There is a flag out. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. setting up the return. Gilbert's tackled down at the 36. And a run back of about eight. The Browns' offense looks unstoppable. Touchdown drives the last two times they've had it. Here they go again, Phil. Yeah, they've been very good, Jim. They're taking advantage of situations and scoring touchdowns, and we know that's what you must do. If you don't get these touchdowns, what happens later in the game it always comes back to bite you. First down at the 36. Down and a whole lot more. They bring him to the turf. The Browns, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some breaks the play. Touchdown. And by getting it into the end zone, they've evened the score with just about a quarter and a half still to play. Yeah, nice job. What that Jim? That was fun to watch and to see this team under the pressure trying to find a way to tie it up. And they come through and they get it done. Exciting stuff. And the point after is good. The Browns ready to boot the football down the field. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Midway into the third. Johnson off the left side. And he's on the sidelines out of bounds. The Cardinals haven't abandoned the run game, which is big in this tie game. 
Johnson's had every opportunity to flourish, and he's done so throughout both halves of this game. He sure has. He's one of the best running backs in the NFL, and you just keep giving him the football and let him win this game for you. Space to work. Gets about nine on the play. He's now pushed past 120 yards rushing today. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First down at the 42. Johnson's going to secure the handoff. The Cardinals offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens to run loses yards? That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Cardinals snap it at the 41. Carrying it out. A near interception by Whitner. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. What a catch. You throw it deep for a lot of reasons. One, you're hoping for the big play, maybe a touchdown, but also you got to think about interference. You can get that a lot of times, but that was a nice throw and catch. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can take it the distance for the touchdown. And with the fourth quarter fast approaching, that touchdown puts them in front. And what they did with that touchdown, they just put all the pressure on the opponents. The offense, they're going to feel that pressure when they go out there. Let's see if they can handle it. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. Gilbert's got it. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Browns offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Look, I mean, just look at them. they got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence and talent. And you put those things together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. First down at the 21. Got a big lane. Ducks out of bounds. The Browns just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Coming to the line at the 40-yard line. Getting a look at the Wildcat here. First down at the 40. Here's the handoff. They'll end up losing five yards on the run. Well, that time, not a good job by the quarterback. It's a tough decision. It happens so fast. When you're indecisive, hand the football off. Because if you try to keep it, it could result in a turnover. It's been all about touchdowns today as we welcome you back to the action. up to this point you got third long you're losing by a few points you can't win the game on this play but I'll tell you what you can sure lose it if you force this football down the field you have a turnover it could be the end of the game they face third down after the incomplete pass the Cardinals with a nickel look here on defense 
Johnson's taking it on the screen. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. And now, Phil, with this final period underway, we get something we haven't seen all that often. A third down stop to get an offense off the field. Yeah, the offenses have been spectacular out here today, but finally the defense said we have had enough, and they got it done on third down. The Browns did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. From just inside the 30. They're going to try to catch the defense off guard as they line up in the Wildcat. First down and 10. Here's the quick toss. Shrugs off the first hit. He's up over 140 yards rushing so far on the day. running it it's second down toss play and that's a gain of nine what a good job by the running back that time he reads the box very well and he picks his way through there and picks up the first down that's that's nice first and ten and now here's the toss touchdown Cleveland Browns Second touchdown on the game. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? And the extra point is good. The Browns getting set to kick it away. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. The Cardinals back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, isn't it amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field? You go out there and you score, and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see them go out there and have success again. Quarters formation here for the defense. First down at the 34. Still on his feet. And Barkevius Mingo makes the tackle. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Let's go, let's go. Who's the Cardinals have it at the 34. Going for the home run. And they can't connect. Got to give the defense a lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Coming to the line at the 34. Palmer by himself in the backfield. And it's knocked down. The Cardinals really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. An empty possession for the offense. I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal. They miss it, and look what they've done. They've given the other team's offense very good field position. Browns head to the line. Fourth quarter of a tie game. The scores 35 to 35. The Browns snap it at the 41. Johnson's tackled down after a gain of five. Wasting no time now for this next play. Second down and five. Toss to the outside. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Johnson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. 
Now your offense has three more chances. First down here after the run. Dagger, dagger. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. The line of scrimmage, the 41. Second down and seven. The give slashes to the left side. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you're going to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block. And a long touchdown run. Ready to return the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The Cardinals snap it at the 31. Looking across the middle, and this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Time and this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Palmer's on the move. It's caught by John Brown. The Cardinals look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. The Cardinals have it at the 44. Palmer's taking off and looking underneath. This will go incomplete. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. The Cardinals have it at the 44. Mingo brings him down. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there. It's in the second half, and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you can just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Phil, we have ourselves a tie game in the fourth quarter thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, they call this crunch time. That's because it's time to get it done when it counts. And when you crumble under the pressure, that's what we have. A lot of pressure in a situation like this. This is going to be fun to watch. Gilbert's going to test the coverage here. And that return ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. game here in the late going and the defense needs to make a stop they cannot give up the big play right now two minutes to go before this one's in the books that second down coming up trying to trick them here with the wildcat formation Here's the quick toss. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Third down on the way. Dagger, dagger. 
flip to the outside. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. It would appear they'll get the ball back here deep into this fourth quarter and give the offense another shot to take it down the field. The game is on the line, no question here. And offensive players, especially quarterbacks, always say it. I want the football in my hands to determine the outcome. Well, you got it, big boy. Let's see what you can do. And this punt will be covered up as their defense heads onto the field. The Cardinals offense takes the field here. Looking for some late game magic here, partner, with the game tied late. Yeah, you're looking for magic, but also be careful. The one thing I like yeah, about the yeah, NFL yeah. now, all the teams have yeah, so many yeah. plays to start to let's drive. Go, and what go. I mean by that, it's just not a screen or a draw. They have all these wide receiver screens. You throw it outside. I don't want to call it trick plays, but the seven plays that make it easy for you and give you a little momentum. Look out, the defense is showing a blitz here. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. Looking long, but it's incomplete. They went for the home run ball there, Phil, but just could not make the play. Yeah, you want to do this. You always want to throw the football deep at least four or five times a game because you want to make the defensive backs uncomfortable. If you let them get comfortable, they'll start jumping those short ones. These guys, ball is out. They can cover their own fumble. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it, keep possession of the football. Carson Palmer will take this snap from out of the gun. Snap it out of the gun. Brown's got the catch on the touch throw. The Cardinals call for a timeout. They want to talk it over on what should be coming up, the final play of the game. The Browns in a tie game will call a timeout. They clearly want the ball back with a chance to do something. The coach is going to go for it. The corner step back. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. Deep to Larry Fitzgerald. Almost intercepted. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. Gilbert's going to test the coverage this time. The Browns' offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them uh, when they went to the sidelines, so the sense Zebra, of urgency Zebra. is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better Zebra, drive Zebra, this time. Zebra, the Cardinals Zebra. with two extra defensive backs in the dime. They're going to run it on the toss. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Browns line up, split backfield. The Browns snap it at the 31. Has his man. Johnson's tackled, but earns a new set of downs. This time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Let's round, let's round. Looks like they're going to run the Wildcat. Play Here clock's go. running down. Johnson's got it on the handoff. Peterson's able to read that play and make the hit. 
Hey, that's a good job by the defense that time against the Wildcat. They penetrated. They were all over the quarterback. He didn't even have time to make a good decision. He hands it off, and it's a tackle for a loss. Play clock's running down. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. Crowell has it. That picks up seven. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Manziel's completion percentage, 90% on the day. Quarters formation here for the defense. The Browns have it at the 44. Manziel's gonna scramble. He's brought down. That's gonna bring up fourth down. Well, we just don't talk about it enough. He is so good, has such quick feet, and then when he gets outside, if you make him run, he will, and a good job there picking up some extra yards. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Manziel's alone in the backfield. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Isaiah Crook. No one's going to get him now. It's a walk-off touchdown. Beyond Buckley. Nice job by the receiver. Running that fade down the field. Nice throw by.